Hey, sports bettors, thanks for stopping by. My name is Boyd. I'm an instructor with Odds Jam. I teach beginner and struggling sports bettors how to use data driven analytics and tools to find value in the sports betting world. And today's all about over unders and football betting. I'm going to teach you how to use different strategies, different methods, different tips, and what to look for so you can make a ton of money doing it. Now, I want to remind you to stick around to the very end. I've got some offers and some value tips that are going to really help you out if you want to work with me one on one as a coaching basis and kind of a consultant basis. And we'll talk about that a little bit later, but uh, let's get into today's video and information. Now, before we get started in today's video about over unders and football betting, I want to remind you there's a scorecard app right down below. It's a link, it's really cool. It's an assessment that you can actually take for yourself to identify and find out where you rank, where you score, where you are in the sports betting world of knowledge. And it's going to really help you find out you know, where you might want to start to expedite your education journey in profitable betting. So make sure you hit that link. It's really cool. You're going to fill it out. It's about two minutes, about 25 question quiz. You're going to get this result emailed to you immediately and you get all your scores and rankings and all the different categories. It's pretty cool. So I highly recommend you take that, try it out and see where you stand. All right, so here we go. So first things first, you know, over under betting is also known as total. Sometimes you see them referred to as either totals or over-unders. And betting on this is when the, the wager you have is over or under the total number of points in the entire game. Now, you can have alternative markets like first half bets or quarter bets to where you can bet on the total points scored uh, over, under in those types of alternative markets. But, you know, it, it doesn't sound too difficult, right? It's, it, it sounds really simple, but really profiting consistently takes a lot more than luck. And so I'm going to show you some strategies and some data-driven insights here that uh, you can use to profit consistently going forward. Now, I mentioned you can bet on alternative markets like first half totals. This is a total game, full game market. And what I like about the odds GM tools is you can see the history, uh, the line history of how the total of the number may have moved. And one thing interesting, of course, about football is, you know, the games on Saturdays and Sundays, you have some other games clearly scattered out through Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, things like that. But for the most part, these games are about a week apart. And so you have a lot of things that can happen uh, in the, in the market all week long. And my best piece of advice Get in early because I can promise you the odds makers have everything built into the price, they have everything baked into the price. They know the weather, they know what's going on. There's not going to be surprises there. You may have some injury news that pops up throughout the course of the weeks. That's something you may want to keep your eye on as far as some of these games with injury reports and, and players participating or not participating. But for the most part, you can go in here and look at the odds jam tools. And we're just going to pull up a random game here. We'll just pull up this Calvary Force game. You can see here right now the odds jam perfect line is it at uh, 55 but what i really like about this is you can see the history throughout the course of the week so here we are recording this on a tuesday uh, on uh, november 5th but what we can do is we can open up the history and we actually see what it's going to do later in the week so let's open this up and take a quick look at uh, when the the market opened in this particular situation and see if there's any line movement any changes you can see uh we go down here it's about 54 and a half 54 and a half you can see how it's moved and this is very gradual very very steady so not a lot going on in this particular market but what i like about the odds jam tools is you can see the charts here of how that's going to help you determine what direction uh those lines are going you can pick a different sports book you can go to pinnacle you can see what this ucla i was doing so you see if that's had any movement and it's going to show you the charts and the graphs of you know what's going on in the pricing at the specific sports book now some of the sports books are going to give you a lot of information a lot of details and some of them kind of hold back and don't show a ton. So again, let's just pull up a random one here, another San Diego State, New Mexico game. And again, you can see the history of the, of the lines and uh, kind of direction that the pricing is going. So what this is saying is, hey, if it started off at 68, it's gone down a tiny bit and you can track and trace this to see if you want to get in early or if it's maybe something you should wait and, and do a little bit later. So that's kind of my biggest tip is using the odds jam tools to identify um, the market's not only just in a positive expected value pages, but also maybe at the sports book of your choice, you can pull up the, uh, the information here. And again, any of these games are open. Any of these charts can be had. You can see the direction and kind of get an idea of what's happening. So this, this one here is saying basically, hey, started off 44 and a half, it's gone up to 46 and a half. That tells you the direction that the pricing is going and you don't want to be you know, missing out on value. So that's why I highly recommend getting in early and not wasting time uh, to, to miss the boat as the market gets more efficient towards the latter part of the week, latter part of the Saturday and Sunday before kickoff. And that's really a little bit too late if you've missed the window on some of these bets. All right, so here's a perfect example. You got a 4% positive EV edge with the Miami Hurricanes and Georgia Tech uh, playing Saturday at 10 a.m. So this is a total, again, so under 63 right now at Sport Trade. Now, Sport Trade is a sports betting exchange in a couple of states. I'm here in Colorado. We're fortunate to have them. We have some pricing advantages with that. And so you can see here, this is the bet you would put in. You have a 4% uh, EV edge. 
you have a nice 20% market width, which basically is a confidence level amongst the sports books. And you can see their pricing is really good at plus 108. So that'd be a bet that I would go, you know, place. And this is all set up on a thousand dollar budget. So the bet size here at about a one or one and a half percent Kelly criteria is suggested or a recommended uh, price or, or a bet size of $35. And using this method, using this strategy of positive EV betting is always going to give you the best pricing and the best value showing you again, you know, where the pinnacles, where the circus are. You can see pinnacle right now is is on this over a little bit harder at minus 127 we're going to open up the charts and see where they stand as far as the direction of, of that pricing and again way early in the week like this is the best time now my strategy my recommendation on this is if, let's say you jump in on this uh at sports trading you place this bet you open it up and you're like you know what we're going to put in that 35 bucks and let's say that you know we're we're at plus uh 108 right now and then later in the week that line maybe moves the other direction you know things change the market changes and all of a sudden this plus 108 is kind of crap you know that maybe it moved up to 128 or 130 plus 130 and you're like wow you know it moved 20 cents difference it means a, a, a market change and a price change you can go back and you can offset that bet later in the week at a different price and do sort of a stop loss do sort of a stop loss uh, potentially if you have that pricing move say more than 10 15 cents more than 20 cents you know if this goes up to say plus 120 plus 125 and all of a sudden wow you know i don't really like that bet any longer it's gone the opposite direction so that's why i think early is better get in on early your tuesday wednesday get some more soak in that market get some more uh you know marination in that market let it let it go a little bit but then you're going to be in a prime position where there's a really good chance we'll take a look at this on saturday morning and this total will definitely be uh, a lot different. It might be down to 61, maybe down to 60. And then again, you're left holding this under 63, looking really, really smart when the market pricing and the market movements change. So that is one example of, of you know, how you can use this tool to your advantage. Again, you have another one here, Oklahoma, Missouri. Total points here. Again, Sport Trade. Um, I, I have the links to, to sign up with Sport Trade if you're in Colorado, Arizona. Um, I believe Iowa and New Jersey. And again, we could open this market up and just see, you know, maybe they're not getting a lot of action currently in this particular market, which leads me to believe that the other ones, the, the larger sports books have been getting action. So it's, it's a good value to, to jump in at this, at this particular time. So again, you can see even circuit minus 110 here, uh, pretty smart kid in the room. Circuit is a very big, very uh, powerful sports book, odds making sports book, line making sports book that, you know, we trust their opinion. And if they're at minus 110 and I can buy this at plus 106, that's what I'm going to do. So that's the strategy. That's the method. And you have a, a, a fallout plan if things go the other direction later in the week. But starting this early is really the, the way to go. And, um, you know, using these tools are, are how you're going to do that. All right, guys, there you go. There's lots of tips and methods and strategies and different things you can use with all the tools at OddsGM. There's a ton more there. There's a ton more, which is why I recommend to set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, talk about your goals, talk about where you're located, the sports books you have, and sort of your methods and what you're using now so it can help you get elevated, get educated, and use the profitable strategies of the positive EV betting, the data-driven information. Again, set that call up. Happy to do that. Now, for the next 10 people that get involved first, I've got a free value of our Discord service where I offer some selections, some daily selections, daily picks. And uh, that's a, something that I think is going to be a big value to really elevate and kickstart your, you know, your betting. And so if you want to get in line for that, you know, message, take that scorecard app, get this thing signed up. And I'm happy to get you in line to get that link for the Discord. That's going to get you all that information to really quickly expedite that uh, that profit plan. So again, appreciate you stopping by. If you have any questions or any feedback, leave them down below. And uh, again, as always, make sure you tune in for more betting content. Let's go make some mathematical money.